we are team number 23. We are here for the final presentation of a capstone project titled Smart Contract Based A Voting System. My name is Shreya Bajaj and I am from Electronics and Computers Engineering. I am Parthi Rao and I am from Electronics and Communication Engineering. I am Yashita Malhotra and I am from Electronics and Computers Engineering. I am Namal Luthra and I am from Electronics and Computer Engineering. My name is Param Aruda and I am also from Electronics and Computer Engineering. This project represents a blockchain based e voting system that utilizes blockchain technology security and transparency features to provide a reliable and efficient tamper proof platform for electronic voting. The proposed system aims to eliminate the issue of voter fraud voter tampering and hacking that have played traditional voting systems. So this is the landing page of our application, which consists of two buttons, user login and admin login buttons. If you are a new user, you have to click on the user login button and you have to create a new account. After clicking on create account, the user has to enter the details that have been asked and click on the sign up button. Once the sign up button is created, a transaction pop-up is, pop is displayed on the screen and the user has to click the confirm button. After clicking on the confirm button, the user has been successfully registered and now needs to press the login button. On clicking the login button, this is the uh, dashboard that the user is has been displayed and now we will change the Metamask wallet to voters wallet. After that, user has to enter the Aadhaar card details and press on the verify button. Again, a pop-up will be shown in which the user has to click on the confirm button. And now our Aadhaar card details have been verified and we can move on to the voting area. But till now, admin has not created the elections. So we now move on to the admin phase. So now the admin will again be presented with two logins and the admin will use the admin login button to log in to his credentials. The admin will enter his credentials and uh, will now log into the system. We now again have to change the MetaMask wallet from the voter to the admin. And then this will be the dashboard that will be displayed to the admin. And uh, these are the certain features that we have implemented and given to the admin. The admin will be able to change the state from registration voting and then to and then to result. So now we use the registration button. We use the change state button and we now enter into the voter regis uh, candidate registration stage. The admin is also now presented with a pop up transaction that he has to confirm. On confirming the transaction, the uh, entire system is now in the registration state. Now the admin will be able to add a few candidates for between whom the election needs to be conducted. On clicking the add candidate button, an entire transaction is generated uh, and the uh, admin will now click on confirm. The admin will add one more candidate. Again, a transaction is generated and the admin will again click on confirm. Uh, now two candidates have been successfully added and now we will change the state again from registration to the voting stage. On clicking voting, another transaction is generated and we click on confirm. Now the user will be able to see the list of candidates between whom the election is being conducted and now the user can uh, decide upon who, who to vote for. Let's say we vote for DFG. We click on the vote button. A transaction is now again generated. We click on the confirm button. And now we have successfully voted. Similarly, multiple users can vote for their desired candidate by logging into their own accounts and uh, vo vote for their vote for their uh, can uh, vote for the candidate. Now we will use the admin login to uh, move from the voting to the result state. We click on the change state button and we confirm the transaction. Now we are in the result state. The admin can now see the result. And uh, since 
the DFG was the winner. So DFG will be displayed as the winner in the result section. Admin login, we have provided an analytics button, which shows the total number of candidates along with the total number of voters. It also displays a graphical representation of the total votes that each candidate has secured. The unique feature of our electronic voting system is that even the admin does not have access to the user database and thus even the admin will not be able to tamper with the user data. And the admin cannot increase or decrease the vote count for any particular candidate. Therefore, our entire project is beneficial in conducting free and fair elections for everyone.